Alrighty, I'm trying to block the wind from uh, with the golf cart. I'm trying to check the hives today since I ain't had time to do a whole lot with them. The ones that are hanging out a whole lot on the front. Of course, it's hot here today. So, of course, they're going to be hanging out on the front. But I just wanted to make sure they're hanging out because it's uh, hot and not because they're out of room. I don't think room's the issue with these. Just looking over the hive, that frame's not done any with a little bit on that frame and nothing and nothing. This hive's got a mixture of uh, <clears throat> fresh foundation as far as wax. And then we also got some of the black foundation also. <clears throat> so that's just nectar. As you can see, when you smoke a hive, see all these bees with their heads down in the thing, they're collecting nectar. Eggs and larvae right here, or at least larvae, as you can see right there. Lots and lots of it. And then there's our worker brood on the back side. I want to say this was also a swarm that we caught not too long ago. But they're just slow to build up. That's our worker brood. And they draw that out terrible on that side. This is our drone cells. In case you ain't never seen it. And that's one of the disadvantages to uh, plastic foundation. Yes, that is thunder you hear in the background. That thing on the finger hurt. Let's check one more. See what we got. We'll button these up. I can see the eggs and stuff better with the camera than I can. Yeah, we got eggs and larvae down there in the bottom. If I can get the camera just right. Seen them just a few minutes ago. But anyway, we got eggs and larvae in the bottom of those seals. Let's see if we see our queen running around by any chance. I do not see her. on this other frame right here. Where'd she go? All right, she's on this frame right here. See if y'all can see her. Good thing about this plastic foundation, she can't uh, crawl them from one side to the other real easy. But she can sneak around, see her right there. That is her. So since we know where she's at, we're gonna put her right back here in this hive. So there we go. They're starting to get a little pissy because of the wind. I got a bee in my shirt. Oh, got me. So we're gonna put them back together this is going to be the last inspection for today because they are not happy right now. Like I said, it's fixing to start raining. So 
we're gonna put the top on them and we'll do a wrap up as we drive back to the house. That's the storms coming from the west. And there's the other storms that are building to our east. As you can see, I was prepared to uh, throw some hives on, or some hive bodies back on some other hives, but we hadn't run across one today that we needed to do that with. And that is annoying with that knocking like that, so we will stop. So that hive's good to go. We found our queen, she's laying. They're just a little bit far behind. I keep saying it on every video, and I probably said it on the video you've seen before this. I've got to get my five frame or my uh, five gallon buckets and make us some feeders. So y'all can see how I do those. That's an easy way to feed the bees. It's a cheap way to feed the bees. Some people don't like open feeding. If you don't like open feeding, don't feed that way. Uh, you can get the, the frame feeders and put them in, and you can feed them that way. Uh, this type of year, I don't really like putting feeders on front of hives, which I don't do that anyway. I'd never put a feeder on front of the hive. But uh, some people feed them internally. Uh, the only thing about that is if you've got a weak hive, it can cause them to be robbed out. So this time of year, if I feed, I always keep it away from my hives. When I open feed, I put the feeders just as far away from the hives as I can. That way I don't have to worry about them rubbing them out because uh, this time of year they will do that. So that hive's doing good. Like I said, it needs some feed. We'll try to get that done this week. But uh, that's gonna wrap the video up. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one. Over here are some videos that I also think you would like. So go ahead and click on one of them and continue watching. I do appreciate y'all watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.